Hi, Judy Medore here with Oily Crafter, my husband Greg behind the camera. Like today, we're going to discuss our project for this week, was this clock tower. It's a pretty neat design that we got from Ex uh, Excited Adam Design with Victor Havens. He's been very helpful on any questions that we had, very supportive in helping us complete the project with his design. So one of the things that I wanted to discuss is the fact that yes, we did purchase the design from Excited um, Adam Design. Very great instructions, very well uh, written out. Very professional looking. Very professional. I mean, he's even got diagrams in here for when you're gluing it together. So we were very pleased with that. And uh, so some of the things that we used for this is some eighth inch thick MDF that we had cut down to fit our glow forge so that uh, 12 by 20. Then as you can tell on this one here, we put masking tape on it. So you can see where it kind of burned there. That's where the masking tape is at. We had this 12 inch uh, masking tape that we put on there. And, and that's not just masking tape you go to Walmart and buy, right? No, it's, we got that off of Amazon and um, it is from Vinyl, it's called Vinyl Ease and it's a paper masking tape uh, that it helps keep down the, the burn on the Sports on the projects. Marks. So something else that we needed was wood glue. We use this kind right here and being our first project with the glow forge that required so much work and and diagrams to put together we weren't sure how much glue we were going to need so we were using the tips of our paint brushes to put the glue on. We think that was a mistake in one point. Um, I'll explain a little bit more later on that um, because then it became Oh, I forgot the sanders. We had to have sanders, uh, sandpaper, and scrapers because we had too much glue going on on the inside. So next time, on the next project, we found these little bottles on Amazon. We put some of the wood glue in there. That was a pain, but we got it done. So next time, we'll, this got a real little tip, very precise tip, and it's going to be interesting to see how well it works out next time. So we put less glue on our parts as we put them together. Also, as we were gluing together, and we never thought about this when we bought our glow forge, that we were going to need woodworking tools. <laughs> so we bought some clamps. We really like these here. These are the four inch that we used. From, from Harbor Freight. Yeah, these are from Harbor Freight. These are the six inch as well from Harbor Freight to hold it together while the glue dried. Yeah, and you will see those later in the pictures. In the um, pictures as, as we're assembling it. And then we, um, as we're gluing some of the small stuff on, like the, the snow and stuff like that in certain areas, um, the clock face, we had to help clip that on with these here or that would, whatever could reach. And as I said, this, we had to use sand because our top would not go down on the deal it was so such a tight fit because i think the, the glue we had too much glue so we had to dremel part of it to get some of the glue out of the way and to make it where it would slide on and off easier the, the, and the sanding block that we were using was making progress but we said well let's try the dremel and see how the dremel works dremel made very short work of it and and the tolerances are extremely close on the tolerances um could be that could also be the glue as Judy pointed out, that we had too much glue. So, yeah. long These story short, great, great, mm -hmm. great plans. Um, it's just those tolerances are very close and very, very precise. So when you assemble it, you've got to make sure that things are exactly square when you put it together. Right, and that was one of the things that uh, we had a good time with those clamps, trying to make sure that when we put the top together, that it would actually go together. Uh, and slide down. Let's see if I can get this off. I haven't even tried that. Oh, hold on it. Yeah. So it slides up. Yeah. Got and it. these, by the way, these little clock hands, they're locks. When you, right now they're in an unlocked position. And when you lock them, it curls around this deal on the inside. That makes it lock so you can't pull it off. And see, and it just slides right back on there. So we really enjoyed putting this together and learning about the Glowforge and designing and 
uh, thank Victor so much for his help again and I hope you enjoy our video as you go through and see us cutting the uh, the, the, the pieces out and assembling them. Please uh, hope you like it and uh, we'll hit the subscribe button and the like button. You can see here this is our finished project what it looks like. That is the first board that we are cutting here using the Glowforge. Uh, this is obviously the clock face, the hands, um, the locking mechanism, and the roof panel. That's kind of more of a finish after the cut's finished and the score lines on the roof there. This is board number two. You can see here the Glowforge is, is uh, in the middle of cutting out the pieces that uh, Victor laid out for us in uh, very well designed plans that he that he provided to us. By the way we are cutting this on a Glowforge Pro so here are pictures of what it looks like at the end when it was done cutting before we pull it out of the actual Glowforge. This is panel number three this is the sides of the of the base and what what it looked like here during the course of cutting scoring and cutting out those uh, patterns. This is board number four, actually has the clock face itself. You can see lots of different pictures here where it has engraved or scored or cut the different pieces and components. Here we're starting the assembly. Uh, and you can see all the different parts. Those are the gluing clamps that we bought. Got those at Harbor Freight. Found them to be very useful in helping us to glue these pieces together and help to make sure you're in square. You can see them there where we're trying to hold things together. Again, lots of assembly of the different pieces, trying to glue those together. Um, there we had to have bigger clamps. Those four and a half inch clamps were just not quite big enough to be able to, uh, uh, you know, tighten in on that, you know, a big enough throw to be able to uh, hold the pieces together. See the clock face assembled there, trying to make sure that the snow underneath the roof, eaves of the roof, are lined up. Again, after you put it together, uh, you can see we're trying to do a test fit there. Again, too much glue is your enemy, so you want to make sure that you are uh, very clean on putting that glue together. Again, finished product there. Thank you for subscribing to our channel.